on this episode. All right, here we go. Now we're talking weird. If you give this to men, they will be thrilled. Racing horses who are actually girls. Who needs real girlfriends when you have 2D? Big uh, airbags? We're out here again today at a diver for the Itasha Tengoku meeting. This is Japan's biggest Itasha event. There's over a thousand entries here today, including mine. All you really need to know is modified cars, anime girls on them, that's it. I've made other videos explaining exactly what Itasha are. So if you're new here, you can either watch those or you can just strap yourself in because you're gonna learn a lot in the next 30 minutes or so. It's Sunday, I have nothing better to do today. So I'm gonna walk around this entire show and show you all the stuff that's here, facts that you didn't know you wanted to know. Let's go. So what's popular at this year's show? Well, once again, VTubers seem to be just as popular, if not more than before. By the way, if the names of these characters or any of these terms that I uh, bring up sound interesting and you're watching this on a computer, feel free to uh, pause the video, bring up a browser and search. You will not be disappointed. Now these two cars are a good example of different kinds of Itasha technique. So this uh, Land Evo, full body wrap, Hakos bales, including the, uh, the rear window. But uh, this one of Gouda from Hollow Live is completely hand cut. You can see that the details have been cut by hand from a sheet, so this was done by the owner. And some people in the Itasha world consider doing this, like doing everything hand cut, uh, to be a greater example of someone's love for their favorite character. And yeah, that is a lot of work. Of course, it's not just Japanese cars here. You get plenty of imports at these events, like this uh, Volkswagen Sirocco on rotiforms with some Love Live character that I don't know. GR86 done up in sort of a race style livery. Love Live. Now, one of the things you'll notice about these cars is they do a lot of bolt on tuning. You can see there endless brakes, Volk wheels. They like to go for name brand parts. Zeldia. Yeah, I never really got into Love Live, so I don't really know these characters that well. There's too many of them, to be honest. Oh yeah, there's a idol concert going on behind us. Yeah, that's what these characters are about on these particular cars. Love Live. Uh, it's a video game about idols, and then you have idols at the actual event. Makes sense, I guess. Drift Star Mark II and Gloria. Hololive Korone. Suise. And a lot of these cars will have a little display or collection of merch or something. I believe these are replicas of Suise's shoes. There we go, new Prius. I haven't seen any dish of one of those before. Mark X. Mazda Roadster. So he's running on Advan AO52. So this could potentially be a track car. Oh, I do like that red. Setsuna Yuki. I'm going to get out of the idol game area because I don't know any of these characters. Oh, this S13, the owner said that uh, he just finished it and he's going to start drifting it next month. So maybe we'll catch him at the circuit sometime. You know, I feel like I'm kind of stuck in idol game hell over there. Let's uh, go over here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now we're talking weird. You might be thinking, how is this in Itasha? Well, Digimon. So believe it or not, I actually know the law behind this car and why they built it this way. So on the back you've got Skull Greymon, which, and I'll try and remember, because I'm assuming a lot of you watched Digimon back in the day, uh, Agumon, the main orange you know, dinosaur looking character, uh, was evolved and he did a dark evolution into Skull Greymon. Now the reason this car is the way it is is because if you wanted to make a low rider 
but it evolved in the incorrect way it would end up looking like this as a low rider so does that make sense it's like it's gone through a dark evolution to be a low rider japan this is the weirdness we came here for ah there's love live over here as well maybe we can go over a row so if you don't want to wrap your entire car one option is to just do the rear glass or you could do this okay hear me out just say you live in a nice upscale neighborhood this is your car and you park it in front of your house this is the side that faces the street that everyone can see and this is the other side or you could just absolutely not care uh, slam your car put a graduated VTuber on it and fill the inside with speakers and just be as obnoxious as possible yeah, when I said that word graduated, uh, we'll explain that a bit later on. And this Daihatsu Move has a Usada Pekora theme. And uh, one of her alternate costumes. Now these cars here are a style you could call normal from afar but far from normal look normal from the front go to the side yeah one of the difficult things i think when it comes to designing your itasha is deciding how to pose the character on the side yeah, if you're doing it just on the on the bonnet of the car like that it's pretty easy just a big square but uh when you come to the side you have to sort of lean them over or find a pose where they're half lying down looks like Uma Musume is not losing popularity at all if you don't know what that is uh, it's a phone game about racing horses who are actually girls well I guess technically they're horses and what makes it interesting is they're all based on actual racehorses that existed, like this one, called Twin Turbo. Twin Turbo, Twin Turbo, Twin Turbo, merch. I'm just trying to remember now if I actually downloaded the Uma Musume game or not. I think I may have downloaded it and then just never played it or, or just deleted it straight away. I watched a sort of a play loop of it on YouTube one time. And it looks fun. It's sort of a training, racing, relationship game. Like a lot of the other ones. Except it's with, uh, you know, horses instead of either magic or guns. Probably the most successful and famous Itasha in the world. The Good Smile GT300 Mercedes-Benz. Of course, driven by none other than former D1 Grand Prix champion Nob Taniguchi. The character on the car, Hatsune Miku, started out as a piece of software called Vocaloid, but is now a complete industry with a lot of merch and also, believe it or not, a bride seat. This is a little bit different. Subaru SVX, done up in uh, Girls and Panzer, Erica. If you don't know, you don't need to ask. Maybe you do. Right, this is something a little bit different. So technically this is an Itasha, I guess. Uh, it's an old Prince Skyline that's been wrapped in uh, Churchill Mark 7 tank sort of details. And the reason for that is you thought you were going to escape cute girls. Well, no. Look at this. This is a character from the show called Darjeeling. Yeah, they're kind of laying on the British quite thick aren't they there's another Darjeeling car does it make sense to be an MG in British racing green got to be one of the most successful tropes of anime in recent history uh, cute girls doing hobbies that guys usually enjoy for those of you who watch anime you can probably name off the top of your head like at least 10 series which uh, fit that description Wait, why is Darjeeling still so popular? Like, when did the movie come out? Oh, okay, it was October last year, that's why. 
girls on Panza still has some legs. Oh, I've seen this car a few times before. The Strike Witches Mia Fuji Land Evo is still going strong. Oh, I think the wrap on this side is new. Oh, this uh, Nissan La Festa is about as, as simple as you can get. It just looks like a daily driver with some stickers on it. Oh, this is a, a, a Takaoka Abbey. It's one of those micro cars that's sort of built around the base of a scooter. <laughs> Single seater because let's face it, if you're driving one of these, you are absolutely 100% driving alone. I'm sorry, I had to make that joke, I'm sorry. But to be real, even with four doors, you're probably still driving alone. <sighs> Who needs real girlfriends when you have 2D? Ignore real women. Acquire acrylic standees. I've made jokes like that before and people have written in comments like, oh, you're being mean, like, you're, you're a dickhead. If you only knew my past, you'd know I'd be, I'm well qualified to make these jokes. Well, if you need extra space, this is one way to do it. K truck with a box on the back and a trailer. This is a unique design on this Aristo. I like this uh, sort of puzzle shaped border. And this character is uh, Nacho Neko, who is apparently, I think, an uh, independent VTuber. He kind of blew up a while back. Put on the GTR. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hang on. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is how my brain's working right now. I saw the Tome logo from a distance. I thought it was a parody, and I thought it said Otome. Uh, which means like maiden. They do sort of parody stickers sometimes. I'll see if I can find one. Fubuki S15, it's kind of neat. Small car, uh, big uh, airbags. I don't know why, but some of my favorite Itasha I seem to be R34 four doors. I don't know why. They just seem to suit this style for some reason. Although Aristos have a lot of space on the side. So they seem to always look pretty good too. It looks like an actually used drift car. Mobile games, man. How much money are they making? A lot. If people are spending this much money on making stickers on their cars of those characters. How much are they spending in the actual game? There you go. Um, I think this is a Peugeot 106. I'm pretty sure. And it has aero on it too, which is interesting. Now this Mazda 6 is neat. With the least Itasha, Itasha looking car I've seen so far today. It looks like an ad almost. Now, I'm just assuming there's some sort of lore about the fact that in, you know, in that particular story arc, there's something to do with chocolate. Oh, an actual school desk with a school bag and uh, chocolate. So there's some sort of chocolate lore that I don't know about. Uh, this is an interesting color scheme. They've sort of gone for a muted color on the print, which sort of matches the body color of the car. Yeah, just little little things like that to think about, which make the design look a bit nicer. Oh, same thing on this road stuff. Honda Insight. I don't even think I've seen one of these at all recently, let alone in Itasha. Now we've got a row of A86s here. First one, character Hosho Marin, VTuber. She's a pirate. Not a very good one though. And on the side, Horseshaw Sliders. Uh, normally that would be Horseshaw Pirates, which uh, is the nickname for her viewers. Nice clean panda hatch. CC on the back. Oh. Speaking of that. Suse. That's this character. Galleria Game Master. It's a brand of gaming computers. Oh, it's Toa. 
It's good to see a bunch of A86s together. Here's another option if you don't want to wrap the outside of your car. Do it on the inside. I think we saw this BMW at the last uh, Itasha show. Now here's the thing about these characters, like all these VTubers. So this character is called Laplace, like L-A plus. She is based on the theory of uh, Laplace's demon. And see, here's one of the things about a lot of these characters. Like there's so many of them are uh, interdimensional, all-powerful beings or, you know, literally the devil or something like that. And they look like this. If you don't know what the concept of Laplace's demon is, it's essentially, imagine if there was a all-knowing being that knew the exact location, movement of every atom, every particle in the universe. Uh, simultaneously, it would be able to predict the future, sort of thing. And it's been uh, reduced to a cute girl on the internet, which is not always a bad thing. I was trying to be serious and explain that, and then I saw this. A Bel Air, is it a station wagon? I guess it is. This is new. Yeah, it's a Blue Archive character. Blue Archive, phone game. Now a lot of these phone games involve uh, relatively small girls carrying enormous guns and weapons. How do they do it? Well, either they're cyborgs or magic. Usually one of the two. Oh wait, I can use these two cars to explain a concept in anime about eyes. Okay, so see this? So these are two separate, separate characters. See the eyes? See how they tilt down on the edge? That's called tareme. And eyes that look like this, see they're sharp on the edge? That's called tsurime. And it can uh, rather dramatically change the appearance of a character. Once you see it, you can't unsee it, and everyone has their preference. Very good. Ah, here it is. Here's another good example on the Lucky Star uh, scooter. These two purple head characters are sisters. Tsurime, Tareme. You cannot unsee it. This show is huge. I mean, it's always this big, but something about it this year is uh, it just seems bigger. Is that going to hit the drop anytime soon? Uh, fake drop. There we go. Small bike, small truck. Uh, Decatora. And I think that's uh, there's a Niji Sanji VTuber characters on the side. It's got the Prosperity Shrine in the back. Chandelier. Little, uh, what do you call that? An armoire. Amazing. I've said this before about uh, the Uma Musume series. Because the characters are named after real racehorses, they all have hilarious names like Manhattan Cafe. Alright, I need to take a sec to figure out what's going on here. Okay, got it. So this is a Porsche 924, done up in a Salt Lake racer style. The character on it is from Uma Musume, the racehorse Machikane Tanhauser. And... Uh, the design is that uh, 1980s Italian, uh, what was it called? Wait, I need to look it up on my phone. Here it is, it was a design house called Memphis Milano. There you go. I never thought I'd see a Machikaru Mazoku Chome Itasha, but here we are. Amazing. 
Ninja La Fantasia, I don't know it. Oh, this is 15. I used this car on a thumbnail. It's on the bonus channel. It's just cars leaving the meeting. Uh, and it got more views than the video on the main channel. Oh, out of there. Well, it's kind of rare to see male characters on Itasha, but when you do, they're usually uh, VTubers. Oh, and this is sunny. I'm just trying to think, is that an aftermarket bumper or is that like the overseas bumper? I don't know. If we ever have an Itasha Tengoku event that doesn't have a Niko Yazawa car with giant Nesobetis on the roof or somewhere, you know that society has crumbled and ended. Well, they've actually included Monster Sport into the design. Because Monster Sport being the uh, Suzuki tuner. Oh wow, Racing Hearts. Bit of a retro look. Gotta say, the wheel game has been pretty good this year. Oh, this is kind of cool. We've seen this printing technique before. See Tora's eye, how it glows? It's printed on multiple layers and the bottom layer is reflective. It's pretty cool. Oh, I'm struggling. The pollen is so bad today. Sorry if you hear me sniff. Why only put a sticker of a Gundam on your car when you could make the entire car look like one? Here's one where the color of the car really suits the character on it. This is a VTuber called Karubi Akami. Karubi means uh, short ribs and Akami means red meat. Yeah, it's quite common for VTubers to have a sort of a, some sort of double meaning to their name like that. Here we go, this is what I was talking about before, these parody stickers, look. See this one, ORC, but it's Okayu Korone, who are, it's a dog and a cat VTuber who are good friends. These are also YouTubers' names, Matsuri Roboko Toa. Yeah, that's meant to be uh, Sparko. And if you get this joke, you are definitely a VTuber fan. Hint, her name is Subaru. Wow, in 2024, we still have Toho characters kicking around. That's amazing. Yeah, this, uh, it's a game. It's called a Danmaku Shooter. Like a top-down shooter. And it's been around since the late 90s. It's a bit of a, a real culture point. Japanese internet culture. Here we go, 280Z. That is a, a minor character that I don't really know that well. But the entire car is wrapped. And a big fat L series with uh, carbs on it. That's oh, left hand drive too. I like this one. This one looks achievable. It's a Honda Today. Oh, we've seen this car a few times before. This is its latest evolution. Symboli Rudolph from Uma Musume. And uh, I remember the owner of this car, he used to have some very nice 19 inch wheels that he had to sell. And uh, he had to run some reps for a while. But it looks like he's gone back to a set of uh, genuine 18 inch Nismos now, and it really suits this car. Gloria on a Mitsus. That's real uh, late 90s Tokyo VIP style right there. Uh, this FD belongs to a wrap shop called Cloverheart, and what he's really good at doing is uh, printing semi-clear stuff. So, uh, you know, obviously this is for demonstration purposes only. But uh, yeah, he's really good at printing for glass to be semi-transparent. Arasaka, I, I guess this counts, technically. Because Arasaka, the uh, the corporation from Cyberpunk. Oh, here's an interesting one. This is a Toyota Fun Cargo. 
And uh, one fun fact about it, if you watch my channel and you know the Pro Box that I have, from there forwards, it's the same car. Oh, there's one right next to it too. Ah, here's the Licorice Recoil R34 we saw last time, except this time uh, it has uh, it has a Carl Gustav sitting on the roof, and uh, what's this over here? Uh, a Minmai sitting in front. There you go. Now here's a little Honda Beat K car, 660cc. And the design of this one looks like a actual gijinka of the car. What that means, it's meant to be like a human version of the car itself. So for example, the, the wing mirror here, the uh, indicator here, that sort of thing. And the little three cylinder engine in the back. And he somehow crammed a Moto Compu in there too. Off-road. Circuit. Oh, I like this. This is similar to that uh, the puzzle one, the Nacho Neko one we saw before. I like the way they sort of separate the sticker from the body of the car with some sort of design. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, not all that many Hatsune Miku dedicated cars anymore. Yeah. For whatever reason. Oh wait, I found another one. Oh, personal sponsors. Okay. Okay, uh, I kind of know about this. So, the Mercedes-Benz that we saw before, uh, you have the option to do what's called a personal sponsor for that car. It's sort of like a, a fan package. Similar to like what some drivers do where you, you, know, you pay a fair amount of money, you get to put your name on the car, or you get access to certain things. And I think with, um, with the Good Smile Racing car, you can get access to artwork and things like that and they let you, like they give you permission to wrap your own car. Like with the official artwork. Something like that. Hey, a pro box. In uh, TRD colours, but it's uh, Rosen Maiden. That's uh, Shinku from Rosen Maiden. That is a throwback right there. That's like early 2000s. What in the GT3 is going on here? Is that real? Yeah, it looks pretty real. And it has a sticker. There we go. Super GT. Serial number GTA X062. Please imagine just having an entire GT3 GTR and putting Sakura Miko on it. Actually, yeah, I could imagine doing exactly that. All right, there's some tomfoolery going on here with this group. All their designs are matching with different characters on each car. Now this series is called uh, Aria the Scarlet Ammo. And I haven't read it or seen the animation. Uh, as far as I know, it's... Uh, it's like one of those, you know, school training to be... criminal hunters sort of thing, you know. Look, just imagine, like, Police Academy, except uh, it has schoolgirls with uh, Colt 45s. Oh wow, I can't believe someone actually did this. Boksatsu Tenshi Dokoro-chan. Uh, and it's been done with Posca, it looks like. I'm not going to explain the plot because it would just make me sound weird that I know what it is, but essentially she's an angel from the future who comes back to repeatedly kill the main character with this spiked bat and then bring him back to life with her magic spell Pipiru Piru Piru Pipiru Pi. It's a good series, I'm a bit of a fan of it. Ah, this mirror is... that's an interesting one. This is a character from a game, it's called... Uh, the English name is Needy Streamer overdose and it's a management game where you have to manage a streamer who sort of has two personalities actually you may have seen this character before on a, a viral video which is called uh, internet yamero which means get off the internet or quit the internet 
and this is the other side of the car the other half of the character down the far corner is the fancy end Porsche NSX and uh, Exige Oh, I saw this car at the last Itasha show I went to and I didn't get the reference, but I get it now. So this is a Volkswagen Caddy and at first glance it kind of looks like a regular, you know, tradesman van or something like that. It has like phone number, website and stuff like that. So the company name is Usada Kensetsu, which sounds like a normal construction company. So the joke is that this character, Usada Pekora, uh, who is a VTuber, plays Minecraft with all the other VTubers, like they all sort of play together. In Minecraft, obviously, you build things. Usada Constructions. So a few of the different VTubers created sort of fake construction companies in the game. That's the joke sort of thing. Is this Eurocamp? It is Eurocamp. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, having a high ace that big kind of defeats the purpose of going camping the way they do in the anime. Uh, here we go, this is a currently popular series, Freyren. This is a little parody of a scene where she pulls out a potion that makes people's clothes dissolve off their body. And she says, if you give this to men, they will be thrilled. Obviously, we've got a turbo this time. Oh yeah, I remember on one of my previous Itasha Show videos, there was an R8, and I said like, oh, you know, oh, who do a R8 Itasha? Turns out the answer is, um, Little Uzi Vert, apparently. Frere in design. The series is extremely popular right now. And just in case you've uh, seen it before and you're wondering if I brought it out, yes, I brought my motor compo out. I dusted it off and dragged it out here. Here it is. Unfortunately, it's not running at the moment. It's not broken, but it just needs a bunch of maintenance. Lum. I'll get around to it eventually, eventually. Marin Ketora. Yeah, I've got to have a bit of a look into the prices of these wraps again because like full car wraps a few years ago when I was sort of looking at this stuff was crazy expensive. But a lot more people are doing it now. I don't know if that means that somehow it's uh, like a bit more affordable now or the techniques have got better or just people are more willing to spend money to stand out. That's a pretty neat Freyren design. Looks like uh, they're using, yeah, it's probably official art here on the GR Yaris. Elf ears taking over horse ears in 2024. Maybe. Oh, we are in the Marin Zone right now. Remember that, uh, the pirate character from before? <laughs> we got a cosplay shoot going. Yeah, I encourage you to go and look up some translated Cosplay Marin clips on YouTube after this video is done, after you are finished watching this one. Uh, there's another one of these Hololive uh, construction vehicles. So remember the one before the caddy? This one is, which one's this? SN. Shiranui, yeah, Shiraken. So this character, Shiranui Flair. Uh, her construction team in Minecraft, and what they've done is they've... This is really good. Okay, this is really common in Japan uh, for vehicles. They use these chocks as a sort of a safety thing on work sites. Uh, this is... Yeah, this is like a work order. And they put it in the window of the car so you can like read it. Right. Helmet. Construction helmet. Yeah, these are the, this is a very typical in Japan, like in front of a construction site, you'll see this big placard, which, you know, talks to you about know, what the company is, what it's doing, and yeah, this is common in Japan too, like sometimes in companies they'll put the name of the person driving the car on the back, uh, and that's uh, Sakura Miko, so that's, um, that's this character. 
Low-key parody. It's one of those things like if you didn't know what it was, you'd just think it was a normal work car. But if you know what it is, uh, it's funny. <laughs> Lapless on the march. Uh, Lapless on the Lappen. It's a Suzuki Lappen, as in rabbit in French. It's not the weirdest thing Japanese car companies have called their cars by far. Is my voice getting worse? I think the pollen today is absolutely disgustingly bad. My voice is probably getting worse and worse as we go on. We saw this at the last Itasha show and the comments pointed it out. I didn't realize. This is a, a boss character from the game that uh, was called Tokyo Extreme Racer on PlayStation. Toa. Uh -oh. uh, okay, anyone who knows about VTubers knows why I'm sort of... Uh, Hesitating right now. So this character, Rushia, remember, remember a little while back I was talking about uh, VTubers graduating? So what that is, uh, it comes from idol culture, like when people who are in idol groups leave the idol groups, uh, they are said to graduate, but that's sort of, yeah, that, that school image, you know, they're going on to bigger and greater things sort of thing. It's also a euphemism uh, for getting fired. Graduating. And uh, Rushia got fired in a pretty big way. Uh, if you're interested in falling down that rabbit hole, just type uh, Rushia drama into Google and it will probably help you. Well, it's almost a remnant of the Hella Flush look, isn't it? With the roof carrier and the wheels. Oh, it seems uh, maybe doing it with Posca is uh, the new hot thing. Now oh, this is where all the Miku cars were hiding, down here. No, they've been sent down the back. They're not popular anymore. Oh, they're all down here though. That's why I didn't see them. Chaser. Oh, and this 15 too. Now these two are probably designed by the same person. Yep, R34's suit being Itasha's. That's just my opinion. But it is a good opinion because it is true. Oh, I've seen this one before. Yeah, it's got a full hydraulic setup, as you can see. And on the hood, it has Mori Calliope in a sort of a. What's it called? La Santa Muerte. Which is, um, I guess, law accurate for her character. I gotta be honest, this show is more tiring to get around than Tokyo Auto Salon. I guess, first of all, because you're outside. And uh, at Tokyo Auto Salon, like, honestly, out of the entire show, I'd say you only really want to look at about. 20, 30 percent of it. Whereas here, it's like I want to look at everything because there's so many little things and little, you know, references and interesting little things people have thought of. Oh, we're back where we started. Like six hours later. Oh, we did it. We covered the whole show, more or less. Oh, that was a long day. But I think we saw a pretty good mix of old new stuff this time, so yeah, it was good. Uh, Moto Compo basically just dusted it off and brought it here. We'll fix it. I don't know, look, it's on the list. There's so much stuff on the list. Uh, if you like this Itasha video, by the way, I'm going to put a link to an Itasha playlist at the end, which will sort of take you back, give you more information, like some of the previous videos I've done. These are my tier 3 subs over on Patreon. Join the Patreon if you want to see the videos early, get behind the scenes stuff, and also get involved in 
making more of these videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs>